Okay, hold on. What is going on? Okay, my voice is back now. Ambient sound is back, I think. Let me check the music again because my music wasn't playing. Okay, now the music wants to play. Yo. 
y'all can hear the echo in the back. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. With that being said, and with that being seen and experienced, um, I don't know. Okay, so I was hearing a loud like fuzzing sound. I don't. I hope y'all weren't hearing it, but. If there is a problem with my audio, please do not hesitate to tell me because I don't know what happened. I went to play the music like I always do. It wasn't there. Like it wasn't playing. It was just a whole bunch of static. Um, but give me one second. Okay. Sorry had to moisturize my hands because I, I don't like streaming with dry hands all right so it sounds like everything sounds good let me make sure okay yeah. okay I think this is stir fry again yep Yeah, I don't know what was going on. I unplugged and replugged my mic, but my goodness. <gasps> Batter spoon! Oh, y'all, so I installed some extra mind, uh, mines, extra mods. Um, uh, some other mods that have updated. Oh, I forgot I got these auto gates now I got the auto gates mod now I didn't want to hesitate on that when I had first heard about it yeah y'all I'm gonna see how much I can push myself in two hours I hate that I wasn't able to have music but it's okay um y'all have music at the end Lord willing I was really like in my heart I was praying like God I hope they don't disconnect the whole Spotify thing and maybe that's why the music isn't playing but it was just a problem with my microphone but I don't understand how that would impact the ambient sound in the game that was really weird to me but anyway yeah Robin is nice and hard at work. Everything's looking good. If I'm not mistaken, some of these are parsnips. I think everything on the left are parsnips. Everything on the left is parsnips. Or are parsnips. I don't know, child. It's R. I had to think about it. Because it's plural. Also, I've unlocked basic sprinklers. I don't know why I haven't started making them yet. Actually, basic sprinklers require, I think, copper bars and iron bars. Hey, sis, how you doing? Sis, um, I don't know if you heard um, the audio messing up at the beginning, but please, please, please let me know if my audio goes haywire anytime throughout the stream because it was just, it was really bad. Like, it was, it was just really bad. But how are you doing today? But I think um, quality or regular sprinklers require uh, copper bars and iron bars. And we haven't gotten that far down into the mines yet. So that's probably why I haven't made any regular quality sprinklers yet. This came in, but I'll let you know okay, thanks, sis. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was bad. Like, the music wouldn't play. Oh, we got, a, we got some, we have some salmon berries back there. Also, I got the auto gates mod, sis, like um, you mentioned. I had to go and grab that really quickly. The 
Yeah, the music will play. I always turn the music in the ambient sound down whenever I'm like playing music because you can still hear it over the music. And whenever I turn the ambient sound back up, it was just, it was just so scratchy. It was terrible. Did I already put this away? I did. Mines. Generic. I think. Okay. Um. I already submitted the green bean, so I think I can just go ahead and sell it. Let me see if the mayonnaise is ready. It is ready. Hi. Why are you inside by yourself? Oh, fine. I just I put some henna, henna and amla on my hair yesterday, which made it look nice. Nice. And I'm not going to my wig pattern a bit. And the hint is like the tint of my hair a bit more. But yep. Amla does, uh, Amla does great things. I have Amla here. I have Amla at home as well. And um, it's, I use it as a hair mask. It's great for a face mask as well. For, um, like if you have spots from acne, it'll help brighten those spots over the course of time. So yeah, it works really great. I'm gonna try to be as productive as I possibly can. Um, let's see. I think this back. I think I'm gonna focus on trying to completely clear out this area right here. And I could have mentioned that in yesterday's live stream. Oh, Junction needs to eat. Oh, wait, how much? So, mayonnaise, at least gold quality mayonnaise, replenishes 90 energy and 40 health. Um, you can put, I put oil in with mine. Like, I use the powder and then I make it creamy with water and then I also put some oil in with it it works wonders just make sure you look just make sure you um rinse it out all the way through because I like to wash my hair like inverted so I had a patch of like dried amla powder in my hair like the next the next morning that I didn't discover because of how I had my hair tied up the, the night before and so I just rinsed it back out I just rinsed it out um yeah Live nice yeah so henna henna is a natural like dye if that's what you want to use it for I mean that's what people use it for like whenever Asian Indians whenever they um they use it with like the temp as like temporary tattoos and I knew a girl in school she would put it on her nails too as like a uh, nail colorant nail colorant my gosh like a nail polish but her nails were actually tinted by it you know uh, let's see generic let me make some more field snacks Um, let me run, hurry up and run over to Pierre's so I can, is the traveling cart lady here today? She's not. I'm going to hurry up and run over to Pierre's. I can get these on the way back through. Hold on. Let me not get them now. I was going to be like, let me get them now. I'm not going to get them now. When I wash out my hair with henna, I do a mermaid bath where I submerge my head in the bath and scrub it out, drain the water, and do it again. It's Wednesday. He's closed. Um, do it again, then switch to shower and just use, use just conditioner. Okay. Yeah, uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, game froze there for two seconds. I used to henna my hair for years, and it was super red. This time I'm just tinting it a bit. Nice. Yeah, nah, so, uh, yeah, I I don't do that. Uh, I don't do the mermaid method. Mm -mm. 
I've seen people do it um, in terms of with whenever they scrunch their curls and they want to help like get as much moisture in their hair as possible and then they lift it out and like scrunch the moisture into their hair. I've seen that a lot. That's not something I've done. Um, I don't feel like losing balance and drowning. So, uh, yeah. God, God's brought me a long way for me to turn around and do something like that over the bathtub. I'm not saying I won't try it. I'm just saying um, not over the bathtub. Maybe if I had like a bowl or a bucket, that's different. But the bathtub, mm -mm. But I've seen people do it over a bowl too as well. Like I've, I've seen, um, they'll just continuously dip their hair and let it drain and dip their hair and let it drain. And then scrunch the like conditioner or like some people will have like the conditioner. It's usually plain water and they'll have the conditioner in their hair already and they'll dilute it with the water and continue to like press it, press it and scrunch it into their curls. Um, but yeah, their waves, their hair. But, uh, Mm-hmm. We're, we're doing, we're making great progress when it comes to wood. Because with how we're progressing here, we should be able to, um, we should be able to start uh, making some pretty good money soon. the bath method is just easiest to get the henna out oh I laid down in the bath I only slightly fill it because I don't want to waste water okay so you lay down um they must have buffed they must have buffed salmon berries was it always 25 hen energy and 11 health part of me feels like it was like 13 energy and like 7 health never considered laying down like in the tub before well when I was younger I used to play around with it um I used to love doing stuff like that but um did I, I think I got water up my nose one time and then it just it just got me out the habit real quick You must have a slanted tub. Well, all tubs are slightly slanted, if I'm not um, mistaken. But mine, mine is more so flat. It's not slanted enough to the point where it can collect enough water. My hair needs a lot of water. Let me collect that mayonnaise from out of here. And then I'm gonna have her to play. Well, no, she can chop down some more trees. Farm clearing is coming coming along pretty well. For me, it helps um, everything float away instead of trying to rinse it with the shower. Um, so you put a little bit of water in there, you lay down, you let it clear out, or like you lay down, you plug it up, you put a little water in there, 
and then you said you said you had to drain it three times. Or did you have to rinse it three times? Okay. Chop down a couple of trees and this one and then one more and I'm gonna put her in the bed. You know what? I'm gonna just get this piece of wood and then I'm gonna rest and fill into the water. I'm gonna go put her in the bed now. I usually get like the big contact like the big bag and then I get um I don't use henna but I get the uh with the omelet powder uh, and then I, I dilute that about two scoops worth it usually comes with a scoop I get two scoops worth of the powder, about two, four scoops worth. And then I go and um, dilute that with water and oil. Dilute it first with water before you put the oil in there because the oil will cause it to clump up. And you have to break up those clumps with the water unless you put like a whole lot of oil at first. So I just dilute it with water and break up those clumps like with the water and then I go in with some oil so get it like paste like I'll get it paste like and then I'll um, go in with the oil and I um, convenience praise the Lord then I'll go in and um, with some heat I'll keep it on my hair for like 30 minutes with heat if I don't have time to do like the heat method, I'll just put it on my hair a little bit earlier and walk around with it in. Um, but you can keep amla powder on your hair for longer than just like a few hours. Like some people keep it in their hair for days. Hey bro, ciao. See, I'm glad you over here getting censored. Hey, Ice, how you doing? It's okay. You're absolutely fine. There's no worries. Bro, how you finally make it into my stream and come in with insults? You use seven ounces of amla by weight probably three ounces of henna okay so you mix it together like in your container bro not, let's let's not try to sit here and act innocent <laughs> I'm blessed I'm doing great praise the Lord I thank God for it my legs are a lot better um, I only feel pain and discomfort whenever I'm like 
I was about to say climbing things, but whenever I like I get in and out of the bed or like whenever I like move my legs in a way like I'm standing up or something. Um, but other than that, everything's good. I it is good. Why are the eggs back small? It's okay. I need to get back into the mines and collect um try to get some more earth crystals so I can make another mayonnaise machine. Is a traveling cart lady here? She's not. Let me just check her every day. I think she comes tomorrow though. Bro, you are not innocent. You was over here being disrespectful. And then acting innocent. Just lies and deceit. I'm good, bro. How you doing? Yep, I first did a test of string here when I cut my bangs. I did 50-50 Cassia Opavada Neutral Henna. And Henna, I liked the color but wanted slightly less red, so I used less Henna in this mix. Okay. I have a lot of parsnips. Do I need to buy extra seeds? Like, for real, for real? Um, I really don't need to buy extra seeds. I can come and try to say hey to Caroline, but that's pretty much it. Is she in the kitchen by any chance? Is she in the grocery store? She's not. She's probably in her tea room unless she's out and about elsewhere. She's in her tea room. I'll maybe, if I remember, try to come back through before they close so to see if I can like talk to her. Excuse me, Haley. Oh my gosh, I tried to go around her. Innocent today, child. What you what you trying to do? Something dangerous tomorrow? Pre planning is terrible. Oh, batter's taking a nap. This should be done soon. I don't want the time and everything. Oh, today's your day off. Oh, excuse me. Or you were off yesterday. And then, so yesterday was your Saturday. Today's your Sunday. So that means tomorrow is you work the weekend. Also, y'all, my YouTube video just went live. On my personal channel. I was It was supposed to go live at 1 Eastern. But that didn't happen. So I set it to go out live at 3 instead. Okay, well, let me go to, if Caroline can, like, leave, ciao, my Google, I don't want to say it, my, but I can say it, my Google assistant is, like, talking to me, I was like, what is that voice, um, Blah, blah. Um. Oh, so you off today? That's why you was awake, and that's why you were able to catch my stream at the beginning. That's great, bro. Get yourself some rest. How are sweets and the kids, the babies? leave this bush alone because it's Lionel's bush or excuse me Linus's bush get all the other bushes hey Linus I'm gonna give you this flower because Caroline wasn't there we just want to show you love and express your oh I'm glad I got a chance to talk to him I feel like 
like they hyped up salmon berries because I feel like all before they would give you 13 health and like or 13 energy and 7 health but now they're giving 25 energy and 11 health okay I high key know I said I was going to go into the mines but there are bubbles right here and we can sell these fish for uh, money if they're not community center fish. You said you worked this weekend. Okay. Oh, the bubble's on the way. Well. watching the vibes I miss on your YouTube instead of Twitch because I've heard that's better for content creators. Is that good for you? Yes, sis, that's great for me. Thank you so much, actually. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. When you go back and watch, you can see that, uh, you can hear that whatever happened with my music happened, like, it was just loud static. It was terrible. What are these? Are these coal ores? Do y'all see this? Be quiet. Man, what do I need to complete the quarry? The bridge. Um, pantry, greenhouse, bridge, bridge repair. So it's the forging. The ones with the forgeables. Okay, so that's like probably the easiest. Bundle to complete beside the mines. The quickest bundle to complete beside the mines. Okay, let me put this stuff away. Put this away, this way, this way, this way. Grab this. Thank you, sis. I really do appreciate it. it. It really is a blessing to me. Like, it really does. It helps me a lot. Did you ever install the Margo mod? The one that I had? Let me fish in here. Let me not fish right now. Let me just try to progress. I'll, I'll talk to Caroline tomorrow. Ooh, well, let me get these Ornos. And then um, we'll go from there. Because with this, I can make another furnace as well. Oh, yay! It was supposed to rain today, I think, but it's really cloudy here. Has it been raining like all day there for you? Or did it just start? Also, do your fluffy babies like the rain? Your chickens? This must have speed, yep. Because I was about to say like... This thing going kind of fast. No, I hadn't heard of it until you mentioned it last stream. Okay, yeah, I used to play with it. Remember whenever my sword would go in two directions, whenever I would play Stardew in the past? It's the same mod. And like, you can change the stats. You can make your tools, your other tools have a range, a wider range of fire. So like the pickaxe, you can um, you can have you can do them have the same effect with your pickaxe and with your axe like you would with the watering can or the hoe. To have a larger range of fire. Rain is also always a blessing to me because it cleans, first of all, it's relaxing and it also cleans the air of like all the pollen and seasonal irritants. They 
don't unless it gets too hard, but their run is covered anyways. That's nice. They don't mind it unless it gets too hard. Because I was about to feel like that. Yeah, I'm shocked that chickens like hard rain. But I had to read it again. What do you mean farther downward? Like it has a, a larger range? At this point I'm convinced that there's just less of whatever I'm allergic to around because whenever, when I went to my friend's house, I found my allergies were acting up badly but as soon as I got out of the car when I got home, I started feeling better. Do you know what caused the reaction? Like, do you know what caused your reaction, rather? school and nursing is because I wanted to help people but I had a passion for the human body but I quickly found out that you know nurses can just do what nurses can do and they're anointed for that so I was like well let me focus on um, like helping people mentally <laughs> and spiritually because <laughs> there were certain things that I just like oh my gosh like, we dissected a frog in middle school, and I just couldn't take it. It was weird. But when people tell me certain stories, like, about their body and stuff, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Um, ooh, look at all these parsnips. Praise the Lord. Okay, we... Oh, praise God. Three quality, three gold quality parsnips. Blessings from on high. Um... But because of that, like, passion that God has blessed me with concerning the human body, like, I'm always looking for answers. Like, I'm always listening to people's stories, and I'm always looking for answers as to, like, how can I help? How can I make this better? What was your experience? And so usually, like, for instance, whenever I discover that I have, I've had some kind of reaction, immediately I'm going to start looking around like immediately I also got another harvest with scythe this is so off topic but I got another I updated my harvest with scythe mod so this should work oh thank you Jesus y'all we have everything needed 
We officially have everything needed for the community center. Like, not everything, but for the parsnips, which is a huge blessing. Um, nobody ever asks for parsnips. I know Pam likes them. Let me make another, okay, let me make a couple of extra chests. Let's see, one for gifts and one for quests. Okay, this will be for quests. And Pam likes parsnips. I'll just give her the regular quality ones and then I'll sell the rest. And making sure I have the five for the community center. Yes. Now let me go attend, well actually to finish watering these and then I'm going to go attend to my fluffy babies. My fluffy baby chickens, which are now adult chickens. They're fluffy adult hands a traveling cart lady should be in time yep. <sighs> I knew I forgot something oh she's over here Pepper's over here I forgot to like actually go through the levels in the mines and look for and look for a uh, an earth crystal It swings more below if you're facing sideways. It said that had been bothering him for a long time, so he finally fixed it. Yeah, so um, the Margot mod essentially dealt with that too. Like it, it's one, like not dealt with it, but the the axe or whatever, the sword, the sword would swing in both directions, and it had a wider range. And so I can even tell a little bit now, like with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is how it looked with the Margo mod as well. And, like, it's going to... It's it's going to the point where it's completely, like, in a line with the body. Like a vertical line down. Mm, not that you can avoid it, really. Avoid what? Allergens? I mean, stuff happens, you know? Ugh. Girl! say less because what do we need a red mullet for the community center i think it would be an ocean fish red snapper we need the red snapper oh i need a carp carp are so common though i think i sold that carp last night yeah so we're not gonna hesitate on like anything when it comes to this ancient seed because praise god for the ancient seed um i'm assuming it's some seasonal plant that grows between late february and april have you ever gotten an allergy um test you want ice cream for breakfast bro you treating yourself or something let me plant it right here What kind of ice cream? Um, I also told me to find out even without being sure. That's good. Whatever I'm allergic to. Have you seen? I have seen the bookseller. I went to the bookseller, I think, the first day whenever the uh, update came out. life and sims right now so you um you need your ice cream to help with your sims life like your you need your you need ice cream yourself to help soothe problems in relation to the sims child that's so wild <laughs> how bad is it nope never had an allergy test i didn't think there was any point since even i know 
I can't do anything about it. I mean, it's it's good to know so like you can prevent things. Like some things, some allergies you can overcome. And so, for instance, there are things that even though the last time I took an allergy test, I was allergic to them. I was allergic to them with me taking preventative measures and avoiding certain things. I've been able to like I, some things I'm not allergic to, like my reaction isn't as bad as it used to be because of how I avoided things over the course of time. Let me go talk to Car Caroline. Is she like, where is she? Okay, so she's not even, okay, she's out and about. Let me have this dandy, oh, the first one right here, praise the Lord, and it's silver quality. So, um, like I talked about the other day, were you in here when I was talking about the bad contact allergy I used to have with grass? Now he makes Brent look like a fine model citizen. Bro, what you doing with the, with your Sims? What's happening? Okay, where's Caroline? Is she back? Nope. She's going over here towards the museum. I can't prevent it though. It's just like, it's just in the air during the early part of spring. Nothing I can do about it. I mean, that's true, but, like, you can, like, for instance, so, like, um, well, I mean, a lot of people wore their masks and things, but, like, like, I've already given her two gifts this week, well, I just need to catch her outside and talk to her, but it was just little things over the course of time, because grass is everywhere you go, pretty much, for the most part, yeah. They help a bit. Like, now I just avoid outside. Because I'm able to do that. And I thank God for that. So I'm inside. We have all the filters and everything. Filtration devices, all of that. Air vents. We have filters in the air. We have filters. Or excuse me. We have filters in our air vents. We have filters. Um... Like, I have my own air filter here in my room. We have a big one in the house. In addition to, like, the one on our system, we have, um, I have pretty much hypoallergenic everything, and I've had it for years. But it's things like that, that for stuff that you cannot prevent, it helps make it not as severe later on in life. Like, for me... I'd rather know about it so I can work to either prevent something from happening if I can or work to um, make it less, whoa, make it less like extreme in the future. I don't know. It could just be me, but was this flower here before? This flower here on the wall, it's, it's just seeing little details like that, it just warms my heart. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, oh, he cares. I'm going to give this gold. No. I'm going to give the gold daffodil to Penny. Hi. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks. I think Vincent likes flowers as well. Mm hmm Oh, not well beats. Poor sweet baby. I'll give Leah this dandelion. Uh, I don't have much to say. Can I? Oh, you're more than welcome. <laughs> So where is Sam? 
so he's here. Is Caroline? Caroline is. Where's Caroline? She's still at the library. Sam is in here with Sebastian. It is Friday night, so that means everybody's like essentially here. It's okay. It's okay. And I think maybe Caroline will even either come here at a certain point because Pierre is on his way here, right? I just saw Pierre walking. Where did he go? Is he in the saloon? Oh yeah, he must have walked past me and I didn't see him. So, looks like Caroline is moving up here past Clint's. Okay, she's over here. I'm going to try to catch her on her stroll to just get another conversation. And it is. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do I finally... Thank God, I finally have two hearts. So now we can just stop stressing out over Caroline and leave her alone. Let me check the rest of these garbage cans. I can't. I can check the ones by um, the houses. Yeah, she's been settling in just fine, Marty. Thank you. The pollen does get inside, but like uh, we have the um, air air filters. I oh whoa, whoa, whoa. I missed a bunch of messages. They have a family business. It's actually a dispensary, <gasps> bro. That's wow. Apparently, eating local bee pollen can help allergies. Really? Huh. That sounds, that's a, oh, I'm sorry, Salt. I'm so sorry. I woke up the baby on accident. I'm gonna look into that because I think that's so cool because, you know, there's a lot of things on this earth that God has blessed us with, be it naturally, like, coming from the ground or even, like, byproducts of animals and stuff. I can cut down trees. Like, a lot of things like that, they're helpful to us. Like, but you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I, I'm amazed at the different things I learn each day. That's something I'm going to look into more on. Because I think that's really cool. Um, it's base mental at 100%. You know, because I do my, um, videos and stuff and I want to keep it family friendly that I, I I have not downloaded base mental if I were to ever just play sims one day and just not stream it or whatever or do videos then I might download base mental just to see like how how into stuff it gets but other than that uh -uh. oh man I lost those that cold. Um, okay, well, I'm missing a lot of y'all messages. One thing that helps my allergies is avoiding milk. When I have dairy, it makes me more susceptible. I have heard things about dairy. I have. I don't drink a lot of milk. Like, I'll have it in my coffee from time to time. Um, every now and then I'll get a bowl of cereal and, but yeah, um, you had to wear a mask for work during the pandemic and my allergies were just as bad as usual with the only difference being I had to take the mask off to blow my nose. Um. Um, pollen, <clears throat> um, the immune system thing is, 
uh, true. That's what they say with kids. Um, it's best to let them play outside for a minute. Uh, play outside and like get in the dirt and stuff just kind of raw, you know, whenever they're young because it helps them build an immunity to things instead of just cleaning them off so quickly, you know. Or like let them eat a little bit of dirt. It helps them build an immunity to the things that are outside. said don't do it okay <laughs> but the book thing is also how it creates information which makes my nose run and my throat more like the glucose creates flu which also makes these work oh they do say like for singing ooh preserve jars so I can preserve the these strawberries now a little boy um but they say uh for singers I used to sing a lot when I was younger. You could, uh, they say don't drink milk or dairy. Don't consume dairy. So milk, yogurt, don't consume anything cream-based before you sing. Because it essentially, it, it clogs your, uh, I was about to say it clogs your arteries. It makes it harder for <laughs> you to sing. <sighs> oh, my inventory's filled. How much is the basic, how much is the basic thing at, um, what's his name? The basic backpack at Pierce. It's like a thousand bucks, right? If it's a thousand bucks, I might as well go over there at one point today and grab it. Because this one row of inventory is, I don't like it. How's paleo? You said no, I hate pollen. It messes up my allergies. It does. I feel like pollen is one of those things that impacts people like in general regardless. But some people, if they do have seasonal allergies, it messes them up more than somebody else who might not have seasonal allergies. So I, I went outside for less than 30 seconds yesterday and that pollen slapped me in my throat and set me down. Um, I was pretty much out of commission and, and had to take uh, medicine to get better. I drank a bunch of water. But, uh, um, but pollen is one of those things that some people, I, I feel like it impacts everybody just kind of like how dust and mold and stuff does. But for people who have an allergy to it, it it's worse for them. But paleo, I haven't really been on it recently. Um, my house is finished and I started decorating everything. So I got a good ways in. I had the glider, but it's been a minute since I've, it's been, it's been some weeks since I've played. Um, in part it's because, um, I don't know if you were in here when she was in here, but my fam, she's in here whenever she's in here like or not whenever she's in here but she's in here sometimes but she me and her we play a lot of Fortnite together so I've been pretty much playing Fortnite with her like pretty much every day um oh excuse me oh, let's see um today is Shane's birthday it's not a new oh Caroline I'm gonna check the back, backpack prices and then I'm gonna go and see or see her tea sampling cutscene and get some money that way real quick Lord willing. but the game has been really good and I've been pursuing wrath cause you know a man that knows how to cook child being there cooking and, and offering food and junk and stuff, 2,000 gold. Might as well. Because why not? Okay, now we can see this cutscene and then we can, um, 
always talk to her first. I'm gonna skip it because I'm not seeing through this. I just, I'm thankful for, I'm thankful we have the recipe now. Do we get it, do we get it now or overnight? It's overnight. What does it take for a mayonnaise, or not a mayonnaise machine, preserve jar? Wood, stone, coal. Because I want to have that set up so I can start making some um, strawberry preserves and sell those. Uh, the thing is, one can be allergic to plants. Bees don't pollinate. Oh yeah, they that have allergies to some tree that's that's in Africa. I've never been to any part of Africa, but I have allergies to trees in Africa. And bees don't pollinate them, but um, coal stone. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do. You no, know, I shouldn't do it like that. Should I? No, I feel like maybe because I was gonna put them down here in the middle. I can't actually. I can do like this. That'll be cute. And then let me go ahead and put this other egg in the mayonnaise machine. Um, I'm so used to clicking, it's not ready yet. Um, but like. It's just, uh, I was just saying in general, like, with how somebody can, pollen is one of those things that impacts people, like how mold and mildew impact people. But for those who, those who are allergic to those things, it'll just have a worse effect on them than somebody who's not. Because mold is bad for anybody, period. Backpack is okay to find them. Thank you, sis. I'm just seeing your message. Sweets and I played together along with Play Doh. Bro, you know what was deceiving that I was upset about? So I went to play Paleo with my fam, and I, but, but I was going to tell her about it, but I wanted to check it out for myself first before I was just like, let me put you on to this. And so, like I said, we play Fortnite a lot. And we talked to each other on the comms. So when I got inside Palea, I saw that there was an icon, like a microphone icon. But you cannot verbally chat with people. What in the world? Oh. You cannot verbally chat with people, like, on the game. Which that microphone icon is wildly, like, deceptive. Because if you could, I would probably just play that with her on a regular day-to-day -day basis. <gasps> Or wild seeds, praise the Lord. Boom, carrots. Let me check that out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back and plant these before I forget. And then I'm gonna come back and go into the mines. Lord willing. How y'all coming with plate up, bro? But yeah, like I saw the little voice microphone thing, and it was—it's not for like voice chat. It's for like one screen chat, and we play on our Nintendo Switch. So typing, in which Paleo, you can play it on the computer as well. But typing on the Nintendo Switch is a lot harder than typing on than typing on a computer. Um, let me put some uh, fertilizer here. I thought... Okay. Well, there's extra fertilizer for us then. But how y'all coming with plate up? Sierra, did you ever get, do you or Ice, y'all, did y'all ever get a chance to install Plate Up? If it's available on Steam, it might be on sale right now. Oh, 
Oh, in the yesterday rants. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, I forgot to change my inventory before I came in here. Okay, so let's... for letting me know, Ice. Appreciate it. Let me look to see if there's an earth crystal. There's not an earth crystal. It's $20. Oh! Thank you, Jesus. Two earth crystals. Okay. No! Stop holding my right arrow down whenever I. <sighs> there could be a chance that another earth crystal is there, and I could have given up too quickly. <sighs> let me just let me just go see. I need this for the community center. I think for the blacksmith bundle. Played it yet? Ice. Thank you. 
was looking for people to play with online and I was telling um I was telling Zay that we could play together on like off time, not on the stream. But if you wanted to come on the stream that would be great. But yeah, like um it's really fun. But you have to be on like some way like have some way to communicate unless you got like a really good flow. Um slime. I think I need like a hundred slime or something. Personally, I love it. Like, I like it a lot. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's fun. It's like it's a it's a it's a change of scenery, and it's just like you have to really focus and like strategize and stuff. It can be challenging at times, but that's what makes it fun for me at least. significantly easier for us on those uh, levels the 30s levels bro what's supermarket sim it sounds like it can be fun do I have two things of mayonnaise in the shipping bin just one so I need to get the other thing of mayonnaise before bed Lord willing Then I can see exactly how much slime I need for the community center. Basically, you're running your own supermarket. There was this game that I used to play like a lot whenever I was younger, but I think it was called like Supermarket Tycoon or something like that. Uh, let's see, boiler room. So I need a copper bar. Let me go ahead and get that. Put it in there. Right, so copper bar. Um, oops. Ninety nine slime, ten bat wings. That'll probably be the easiest to just get one of these two, unless I get one of these two first. And then quartz, earth crystal. We have quartz, so. stones Let me make another furnace let's do two more furnaces can I do two more furnaces oh no I need I need more stone why am I so low on stone did I put a lot into the community center I think that's what it is I put a lot into the community center which is fine
Is it a new game, bro? Like, did it come out sometime within the past two, three years? Two years? Oh, booksellers back in town today. I wonder if there are different books, like when you go each week. Oh, we have our first strawberries, praise the Lord. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot I stopped by her tea room, but she didn't. She didn't forget that I stopped by. Oops. She gave me that precious, beloved tea sampling recipe. Hey, Tend to the chickens and then we're gonna make as many tea saplings as possible and put those in the shipping bin. You're right, it does use a good bit of stone. I forgot about the well. Bro, you so wild. Why somebody use your stone to buy build my house and pay with? <laughs> Uh, played Fortnite, but that's like if you got an elimination and somebody came through and like collected all your loot from that elimination, they sit back and did nothing. It's like, no, you you don't get that loot. That's my loot. I'm, I got that elim. And so uh, sometimes I accidentally collect on the um, stuff, and I always apologize. Like, because it's, it can be so frustrating. Did I? Did I? can't believe I almost did that without saying hello to the fluffy babies. Oh, it's a crime. Okay, so let me to... Looks like the, I can make 20 more seeds. Okay, so this fiber... That's beautiful. That's going to get us 
is a good hunk of change, without question. Part of me feels a little bit bad for Caroline because nobody really wants her aside from her tea sapling recipe. The travel merchant is here, so I'm going to go check her out. Like, what was I saying? Oh, I just feel bad. Like, nobody really, I, at least I don't see a lot of people playing with Carol or like trying to build a nice friendship with Caroline. Oh, uh, I can get this bat wing. It's not worth it though. It's a thousand gold. Like, it's really not worth it. Fried mushrooms, bok choy seeds. They're playable in the fall. No thanks. Um, hmm. Nothing that I absolutely need right now. Hey, Jazz. She's so precious. Do y'all know? what the nationality or the ethnicity of the people in Stardew Valley is. I want to say Asian, but if that's something that anybody knows, that'll be great. Human. Bro. <laughs> that's so extra. Bro, ain't no way. <laughs> Bro, if this was a class, man, I, you would've got kicked out for that. <laughs> Tell me something you, man. That's wild. But I wanna say either like Asian or maybe German. But not really German, but maybe Asian. Bro, did you used to get kicked out of class in like high school and stuff? I mean, elementary, middle school. It feel I feel like sometimes you would probably get kicked out. The game is based on the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Sarah Nate talked about this and how he grew up in Washington State. Okay, so. So, okay, the reason why I was speculating Asia um, is because. Now, I can see like the farmland and stuff. I get it, but there's a lot of farmland in Asia, in different countries across Asia. Especially like um, in China, but the reason why I was speculating Asia is because the, the the town they're at war with, the nation they're at war with, that name sounds like it could be Asian. And if I'm not mistaken, it's like it's a neighboring it's a neighboring town or whatever. That's what I was asking. Or not, that's not why I was asking. That's why I was speculating. Prayerfully, this is a carp. It is, thank God. I forgot we needed more for the community center. Okay. I need to update, upgrade my um, fishing rod as well. I can do that tomorrow. Like her tomorrow, I can do that. Because she'll have a whole bunch of money, extra money there. Like a bucket load of extra money. <clears throat> but yeah, bro, whenever I was in high school, the class clowns always got kicked out. They were my favorite people, though. Like, I used to wait for them to just do something. And then I... <laughs> And then I would watch them as they had to walk out of the class and go to the principal's office. I rarely ever, it was rare for me to get in trouble though. I thank God for that. Bro. Ooh, you would get kicked out so bad if I was a teacher. Ciao. That's so wild talking about something human.
You probably used to raise the blood pressure of your teachers, bro. They ever had like a reinforcement officer come in and like talk to you and stuff? Did I already submit the bullhead? I think I did. Uh, it's mountain fish, so it'll be lake fish. Yes. They had a reinforcement officer come in and talk to you? <laughs> Ooh, child, I wasn't paying attention because I was getting notifications on my phone. Oh, okay. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention again. Um, well, as far as I know, they are at war. Who they are at war with is on the other side of the gym sea, but I don't know how far exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, you're right. It's it's jogging my memory now. It is on the other side of the gym sea. That makes sense. I said it was a neighboring country. I was wrong. That's jogging my memory now. It, yeah, the gym sea makes sense. I used to laugh when they got mad. Bro. You had their blood pressure through the roof. Them poor little teachers. Child. And for you to laugh at them is diabolical. That's terrible. Like, whenever they sent a reinforcement, whenever teachers sent in reinforcement officers, like, that just meant that they were so pressed that they was just like, I'm going to make this child think, like, or give him a scare. Scare. You ever seen Beyond Scared Straight? It's the same thing. Okie dokie. Republic. Okay, yeah, I remember that. And they are versus the Gotoro Empire, which does sound like two different cultures by the name. That's right. Um, but the Gotoro Empire sounds like Asian. Like Chinese, specifically. I'm gonna also upgrade my pickaxe. all these rocks with the exception of these and the other ones are all one hits that would be like miserable it'll be misery if all these rocks were two hits and, th and then you had to on top of that like fight through the dark it's by the grace of god that i got the glow ring when i did
this one math teacher that put me out there because I can teach the information better and everyone will understand it. Bro. Nah, but sometimes I'm not advocating for being just out of pocket. However, some teachers, either they need to teach a different subject or they need to be in a different line of work because it's just like if you burn out burnt out if you're burnt out take a break but what students do not need students that are growing and especially in high school because you're not just growing you're also you're also preparing for for life after college they don't need somebody who's passive about teaching information. They just don't. They just don't. If you're not trying to have a good student-teacher relationship, I'm not saying y'all gotta be best friends because that 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 can like mark, make the uh, boundaries murky. Um, but I am saying like there needs to be some kind of like boundary or there needs to be some kind of like leveling of the planes where it's just like bro look these kids don't want to be here more than you do if they could learn whatever they want to learn in a different and better environment they would not to mention some of this stuff you never hear about it again after college it's just I've had I've had my share of people hockey I don't really care that much for Pam. We can eat these parsnips. But, um, I've had my share of teachers who either had their favorites or they hated, like, you could tell they didn't have a passion for what they were teaching. Like, you could tell. And it's just like, no, like, these students, they got to graduate and make it out in life. You already have your degree. So if you have any ounce of decency, if you could either transfer to, like, a different line of, like, work. Or, like, maybe a different area within the school. Go do that. But you don't need, what you don't need to be doing is, is, is teaching students who are trying to move and, and progress and advance from one part of their life to the, to the next. I can get all these bats. Let me get this bat. If I can get all these wings, I meant to say, that would be great. Before I leave the mines today, all the wings I need for the community center, that would be great. that went kind of viral um, years ago where this guy was just like look you're not enthusiastic about teaching this these students actually want to learn but you're doing a trash job teaching it and you're getting mad about you're getting mad at me because I'm doing a better job at it than you are said what he said and and the teacher not the teacher kicked him out of class but he was serious like <clears throat> excuse me he wasn't trying to like crack jokes or anything he was serious because he was frustrated because there are people who care about their education Thank you. 
have seen that video. Oh, praise the Lord. <clears throat> I think I want the one with the animal products because I think that's the one that leads to um, artisan goods. Ugh, crispy gold. Extra money, praise the Lord. And I got 300 gold for five copper bars. That's decent, that's decent. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, bro. I just, that just triggered, I feel like it triggered something inside of me, like a memory or something. Okay, a couple of things on the list, the task list. I want to well, harvest these cauliflower and put one back to the side for Emily or whoever requested the cauliflower. Is it ready? They are ready. It's probably quicker if I just... Oh, it's not okay. Oh, those are still growing. Okay. More cauliflower. The rest I can sell, correct? Yes. Did I say, did I finish my statement? Sometimes I'm just talking so much I can't remember what I said last. But I'm getting a fishing rod today, Lord willing. Um, maybe doing some more fishing. Um, carrots are done. Oh, this was on the speed grill, so that's done. I think the other one will be done tomorrow. Usually 10 to 2. Ten AM to two PM or ten PM to two AM. Hey sweet babies. Okay, I can make another machine, right? No, I can't. everything is the she's not here today well let me head on over to Willie's because I think he opens early anyway you work mornings okay that's a nice schedule that's a really nice schedule like that's a really nice schedule trash cans before Marnie gets too close. So, is this a new job or is this a job you always had? Cause like, what do you work? Retail, like what do you work? Or what area do you work in? A lot of daffodils out and about today. start giving these as gifts to Penny um, if only I need to do more fishing because that's the quickest way I can get Joja Colas and I am going to do more fishing once I get this um, fishing rod work at Petco but there's no animals at the location I started in January okay nice
Some pet codes allow you to adopt animals from them. Do I? Okay, I do. Oops. Hey, Willie. <gasps> Sardine bait? Fish smoker? I, I forgot to catch, uh, excuse me, I forgot to check Willie's um, inventory. Sea jelly? Place fish inside of, with a piece of coal to create smoked fish. What? <laughs> smoked fish, yas. Yas. Okay, fiberglass rod. Can I sell my other rod to him? Like, like, I know you gave it to us. Okay, no, we can't sell it. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I have the recipe for... I thought I had the recipe for bait. Oh, I do. Okie dokie. I think it's better. Yep, other locations have all kinds of animals. Nice. I think it's better though because I don't want to have to worry about working with animals that may not be getting treated well. I understand. It can be hard like that. Honestly, I will feel the same. Because, like, I will be quick to work in an area. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Does that mean that I just leveled up? You've got some new ideas that they want? Okay, it says I'm fishing level three. Okay. But, um, because I saw his inventory and I was thinking, well, maybe it's a new recipe, but I discovered previously that it wasn't new recipes because one of y'all told me it was just telling me that I leveled up before midnight, like before midnight reached. But, um, I could have gotten that chest. But when I was younger, I used to want to be a veterinarian because I loved animals so much. But I quickly discovered that I love snuggling animals. And that it would just, I don't know how, I would just be able to just consistently work in a place where battered animals would come in, where people would bring them in for treatment. And it's just like to see how they have been neglected when they should have been loved, like it would just break my heart. And I feel like that's different from taking care of your own fluffy baby because it's just like, that's your fluffy baby. You know, you, you take care of your sweet snuggly baby and you're used to that. And it's like you would take care of your child if you have children. Um, it's like nobody hate or nobody likes to see kids that have been battered. Um, however, they take care of their own children regardless. They'll rush to take care of them. And so I feel, but like to be in a situation in an environment where that was constantly happening, or not to say constantly, but I mean, it might as well say constant. Oh, I, I don't have to. Okay, so I can sell these fish. Yeah, the things people do to animals. Defenseless, sweet little animals. It's just, it's heartbreaking. It's like, how can you do that? Or even, even parents who have children with destructive behaviors. Like, they barely take care of their little stuffed animals, and then they get them pets, and they get them baby pets, so they get them baby, like, puppies and baby kittens, which are, you, they need to be watched over just as much as your child, if not more, but they leave them alone with the animals, and they, they, ugh, I can't stand to think about it. Because it's just like, the child is already destructive. Getting them a pet isn't going to make them better. It's going to make them worse. But I 
think that was a smart move that you made, sis. Um, whenever I used to work for the state mental health years ago, I, um, I worked at one of the satellite locations. So, I worked, where I worked, it wasn't, in, it wasn't a hospital, it was a day program, an adult day program. So, people weren't staying there overnight. They would come in Monday through Thursday for their day program. And then for the other, like, Friday through and Saturday, if they had, um, not Saturday, they could have had their appointments, like, Monday through Thursday as well, because there was also a psychiatrist on the grounds where they could have their doctor's appointments and stuff. But, um, for the most part, they came in on Fridays for their appointments. So the day program was closed on Fridays, but they would come in for their appointments, and so I would still work Fridays. Um, to answer phone calls and like do paperwork and stuff, and like um, get stuff sorted out and update files in the system with companies. So it's kind of like similar. That location wasn't like all the other ones, but it had its similarities. some river fishing but I'm gonna go see if there's a quest available for me to check out there is a quest available a smallmouth bass I can accept it I think they're catchable in the river Penny let me give you a uh, flower Walmart used to be sis the uh, Petco locations like remember well no well yeah my, Walmart well no Walmart used to have fish and stuff different kinds of fish in the back for you to uh, purchase they got rid of that years ago honestly it's probably for the best because the way people be destructive in grocery stores and stuff nowadays mm -hmm. and stores in general <clears throat> be a pet store. Uh, who wanted the smallmouth bass? Willie. Where is he? Is he still in his shop? He's left his shop. The other ones. reptiles, birds, rodents, cats, and dogs. So by rodents, you mean like hamsters and mice, right? You said birds. They, so the uh, fish, the fish, the pet store that used to be by my, or I, I don't want to say by my house, but it was, it was, it was local. I'll say it was local. But that pet store, it had everything that you just mentioned. Yeah, guinea pigs, chinchillas. That's diverse. 
I don't think chinchillas are native to the southeast, though. So that's probably why we don't have them over here. Or maybe probably why I haven't seen them here. Honestly, that pet store might still be there. I just hadn't seen it over the years. But no, I think they closed down years ago. But they had, um, they had everything you mentioned. I think they had rabbits, but they also had like bugs. So they had huge spiders. They used to have this big owl that would just sit out and look at people. And it was real. They also had uh, big uh, snakes. They had, you said reptiles. They had, um, what else did they have? They had this big parrot that would be out and about. And sometimes it would squawk and talk to people. It used to scare the mess out of me. I used to be scared. I would walk around so slow. Like, I would love to see, like, the cats and all that stuff and the dogs. But everything else, like the spiders and junk, I hated to look at it. And the owl would be sitting there looking at me, and the parrot would look at me, and then it would be like, it would just be loud, and it would squawk. It was terrifying. <clears throat> they have tarantulas also? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chinchillas are very sensitive to eat. Yeah, I don't think they're native to the southeast. And we we have a lot of heat down here whenever whenever it gets hot. Oh, excuse me. Because I know their fur is so thick, you can't you can't wash them with water. You gotta wash them with sand. And that well, they'll pretty much get in the sand and wash their fur themselves. Oh, get the. Stuff. My manager told me that when the mice accidentally bring they feed the babies to the snakes. Child. Okay, wait, do I? stand off. I know that's how it works in nature, but I would, I would stand my ground. I would probably physically block them from the tank. Uh -uh. I wouldn't be able to work in a place like that either. Like, mm. Sam, we have a cola for you. I don't feel terrible, terrible over here. Yeah, I, I would get fired. I would just get fired. I'm like, you have to come through me to get to that tank. Like, uh -huh. And then I wouldn't like to mess with the snake. So God forbid if they would tip the tank and let that snake free. And then, uh-uh. Mm -mm. They would have to press charges and call the cops against me or something. Because, mm -hmm, child. Ew. It happens in nature, it happens in nature. But I'm not just out there in nature. Extra predators they need to eat too. Yeah, you're right, they can eat in nature. But I'm not out in nature like that, so you know. I'm attending my business, they tend to their business out and about in nature. But other than that, as a pet, 
I will probably be the one to try to make my snake vegan. You know those videos? Y'all seen them videos online where people feel like they their dogs are vegan, and then they put the meat in front of the dog in like a versus a piece of lettuce. And they be like, "Look, she'll naturally choose the the lettuce um, because she's vegan, and the dog go and get the meat." <laughs> like it's so funny. Makes sense, and they they that would be like extra inventory or something too that they don't have logged or something, right? I can't wait until the UI info suite gets like repaired and updated. Hey Shane, I'm not gonna talk to you. just joking like the dog ate the meat like if the dog was only used to eating lettuce the dog probably would eat lettuce but um like it would just automatically go for it but the dog went for the meat and they were just making the video as a joke oops i didn't mean to close that Oh, well, because they would fight and squiggle, right? They would fight and, like, to try to get out. <gasps> Deluxe bait? Be quiet! That is so cool! And we can make recycling bins now. Okay, so we're making pretty pennies. We're making pretty pennies now quite consistently. So we got over a thousand gold for um the fish which is amazing fish is also an excellent money maker in early game excuse me like you can have like ten thousand by like beginning of spring if you just fish consistently Yeah, people, people do that, they do, and they shouldn't because that goes against their natural instincts. And it's not good because they're not getting all the, the nutrients they need. You said they can smash their face while striking in the cage. Oh, really? Um, it's true they sell vegan pet food at Petco also. Really? No, that's the first time I've heard of vegan pet food. That's wild to me. Like, well, not really. It's not really wild, especially if you're considering, like, birds that only eat, like, seeds and stuff like that. Or, like, say you have cattle, and they only eat grass. Okay, vegan pet food. What I learned in the nutrition training is dogs eat both meat and veggies, but cats just eat meat. Really, that's true. Cats are strictly carnivores. Dogs can eat vegetables. Like whenever we had dogs, we fed them a mixture of meat and vegetables because they can they can eat either. But I wouldn't just feed my dog just like fruits and vegetables. Cats are obligate carnivores, and while dogs are omnivores, they are mostly carnivorous. Carnivorous. Well, they want money, and there's customers who will buy it. That's actually heartbreaking, though. Like, to me, if somebody chooses to be vegan for their own reasons, whatever the reasons and whatever the case may be, that's one thing. But for somebody to, they're, like, for somebody to worship the lifestyle as if it is a religion to the point where their pets, they force their pets to eat like that and they have cats and dogs, um, that's animal cruelty in my opinion. Like, they're not supposed to eat just vegetables, you know. Cats can eat things like pumpkins, too, but, like, 
you put it put it put the pumpkins in there with some livers and like kidneys and stuff and hearts they eat they love stuff chicken hearts and chicken livers they love stuff like that i've been doing some research in preparation for my fluffy baby one day lord willing it's not good for me yeah they may not survive on vegan pet food they may survive on vegan pet fruit food but won't thrive on it right it's like it's like people I think I was talking. I was talking about it with my friends, like or my fam. I was talking. I was talking about it with uh, Shannon too. It's my sis, but I call my fam my fam. But she, I was telling her how the food, and I've talked about it here on stream as well. That there are so many toxins that America's government allows in our food, and it's just like it's the the stuff that's toxic is very cheap. But you go over, like, there's this content creator that I follow. She's Ugandan. She's like, she was shocked whenever she came over to America because the organic food in her country is cheaper, but the stuff that's like junk food, the stuff that's like, um, that has all the extra stuff in it, like that they would get for like a snack every now and then, like a treat, that's more expensive. But she was like, when you come over here, it's reversed. And so, with, with that being considered, it's like, sometimes, because it's, it's cheaper, a parent might get the cheaper stuff for their family for the time being so they can get some, have something to eat. And then when they get paid, or whatever the case may be, they'll get something better, you know. Like, it'll, you can survive off of it, but it's not the best. Like, you don't need to make a daily habit of it. Or it's just something temporary until you get better quality food. Some don't even survive on it. Yeah, the, I mean, the stuff in America's food, can it, they, it, it literally has the capability of killing somebody. Killing people. It has the ability to kill people. There's still protein and vegetables, so maybe they just condense that. I don't know. So, like I said, like beans have a good source of like iron and protein, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And um, so like I we used to feed our dogs whatever we had left over before it went bad. So beans, chicken, beef, you know whatever the case may have been, and they would love it, and they would eat it. And it was good. They can eat it, you know. Cats can eat beans. You know, you, I don't know if you've seen those videos of cats uh, sneaking and um, stealing people's food. It's usually like chicken. <laughs> but, you know, they'll eat it, you know. And you got to really monitor them because I think grapes are poisonous to cats. So, like, they'll eat it. Like, you put something in front of a fluffy baby, if they trust you enough, they'll eat it. Or they'll try to eat it, eat it even if they're not supposed to. They can eat it, but to survive off of it, like, solely, they won't be getting, like, max capacity, like, health benefits like a human could. Like, there are things that people can eat that animals, like, cats can't eat or whatever. And stuff. Well, obviously, yeah, but. Um, like, chocolate is deadly for dogs. And grapes are deadly for cats. The protein That's why even when buying normal dog food, they tell you to watch out if your dog food has a lot of legumes because it can boost that pr the protein, but that protein won't be as usable to them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's good information. What's weird is pet food has its own FDA, basically, that regulates and requires all pet foods to be nutritionally balanced and meet all their needs. The government will take care of animals better than it takes care of pets because something can be FDA labeled organic and it's not really organic for human food. I did not know that there was an FDA, a separate one for pets. I did not know that. That was interesting to learn. Plus foods, rich and legumes have been suspected of causing heart issues with some dogs. Okay. I didn't know that. Um, but, ooh, 
excuse me, but um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I because now I, I did not know that pet food had its own separate FDA. I just learned that just now, but you never feed a dog a vegan diet. Yeah, but. I have been like looking into videos for a long time on like homemade cat food because I just I don't have the heart to fle feed my fluffy baby anything that might contain carcinogens things that cause cancer for animals and honestly high key now there uh, there was some company was it wishbone I think it was wishbone that was under a lot of fire because their food was making like there was dogs were getting cancer from the stuff that was in their food in their dog treats and stuff i think it was wish uh, wishbone and the the uh you know the dog chews the um the raw hides they contained uh cancerous ingredients for dogs and um, they were under fire some years ago, within the past 10 years. And, um, but whenever I heard that, that's, that's something that I was just like, okay, I really need to get on a, get like, look into what I would want, like better brands to feed stuff to my fluffy babies. And then as I got older, I was just like, you know what, instead of trying to look into a better brand, why don't I just look into what's required to make a healthy meal and just focus on where I'm sourcing my stuff, like where I'm sourcing my meats and stuff. I need to feed a chicken a vegan diet because when they eat mostly plants, they do need some protein, preferably animal protein. They say it's good to uh, put some of their eggshells and stuff in their food, right, because it gives them calcium and stuff. And it, and it feed them um, some of their cracked eggs too, right? Like chickens can eat their own eggs, the ones that are unfertilized. That's what I've um, seen and read about and looked like seen in videos in the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, yeah, when they need it. I think I have seen things where chickens literally peck. Actually, no, I take that back. I saw a short on YouTube um, like a couple of months ago where one uh, the the person owned chickens and they had to remove one of the chickens from the coop because it kept eating its eggs. Like it kept or it kept eating the eggs, like the eggs that were hatched. It kept eating the eggs and they had to move the chicken, remove the chicken from the coop. animal protein but yeah I, I heard that um I saw or read that or heard that somewhere that you know to crush up um some of their eggshells and um to put them in their feed for calcium but also to um give them what's it called to give them some um their own eggs as well, the unfertilized ones. You can feed eggshells back, but if they're eating their own eggs, their feed probably doesn't have enough calcium or protein. That could have been the case. I, it was just one short. I didn't look into um, I didn't look into details concerning like why they were eating the way they were eating, like why they were consuming the eggs. I just thought it was interesting because they were like, no, this chicken keeps eating their own, eating the eggs in the coop, so they had to separate it temporarily. And then they put it back, and then it continued the behavior, so they separated it again. I think they were trying to, like, get it out of a habit or whatnot, because I've seen, there's this guy I follow on YouTube and Instagram, and he, he, he has, he raises fish, goldfish specifically, and sometimes when some of the fish are being bullies, he'll set, put them into a separate tank for a period of time. 
until they like lose that I guess the memory of the behavior that they were having and then he'll put them back if they keep bullying the fish if, if, if the fish keeps proceeds to bully the other fish he'll separate it again and then put it back into the tank but and then usually the fish stops like the fish will stop bullying the other fish fitting them eggs their eggshells back won't be enough I just heard it would be like a source of calcium you have to either feed them layers feed or oyster shells on the side okay yeah I just I heard that it was like a nice like addition of calcium to their feed so um, I just thought that was interesting because I was just like I never would have considered that you could actually feed chickens their eggs back and so I thought I thought that was cool and I remember you told me about the oyster shells thing I thought that was really cool too but I feel like oyster shells are so well chickens beaks are pretty sharp I've heard uh, stories about how um, people got picked by chickens and were just bloodied up. And they, they can pick on each other and kill each other, honestly. <gasps> oh, excuse me. So their beaks are actually pretty sharp because I was about to be like, I think oyster shells are kind of hard and thick. But then it's just like chicken beaks are really sharp. They can probably pick through that without problem. I don't feed my girls their shells back, but they they always have oyster shells and their food has plenty of protein. That's great, praise the Lord. That's awesome. They all they all look well taken care of the last time I seen the pictures you sent me. The oyster shells are crunched up on the Oh, okay, so they're already processed. That's nice. That's convenient. Um, that's really convenient. But chicken beaks are really sharp. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. What's today, Friday? Yes, they just eat bits because they need them. That's adorable. Yes, today is Friday. So, prayerfully, I'll be back on tomorrow, Lord willing. But I'm going to go ahead now and call it for the evening. Um, I enjoyed myself. I had a lot of fun. And um, I'm going to try to come back again tomorrow. Lord willing. Thank you, bro. You have a good day. You have a blessed day. All y'all have a blessed rest of your day, a blessed rest of your evening. Depending on what time it is that you're watching um, or what time it is now that you're watching or if you're watching the replay, depending on whatever time it is. Have a blessed rest of your day. Um, I don't think I have any other announcements. Bro. Try to try to focus on keeping your head out of the clouds, bro. Breathe easy. Amen. <laughs> don't lose too much oxygen. <sighs> bro. I gotta, you gotta, um, what's your work schedule? What's your work schedule? Because, um, you said that person probably should have probably also brought a feed with more protein because most of the cheaper feeds have a beer. Yeah, they probably, probably, I don't know what the problem was. They just had a, they had a large number of chickens. So, I don't know if they had got the chickens. But I don't think you I don't know if you can buy chickens full grown or not. I just don't know. But they had some full grown chickens. Multiple ones were laying. So, I don't, I don't know the circumstances. I was just scrolling and it came up for me. But that could have been, that could have been it. You are this weekend and Tuesday and Wednesday that's your normal schedule weekends and Tuesdays and Wednesdays because I need you in here more so we can talk junk and stuff from time to time Yeah, I, I, I really, I don't know. 
what their situation was. I was just on YouTube scrolling through shorts, and they were one of the shorts that came appeared for me. So yeah. That's great, bro. That's great. I'll be looking forward to you being in here. Whenever you can, you know, don't press yourself. If you're taking a nap, you know, to prepare for work, that's fine. I respect it. I want you to, you know, be in your best shape for when you go to work. I don't want people to be out of whack for work on just because of me. When I make sure I'm in my best shape for work. Alrighty, bro. Tell sis I said hey. And give the baby some extra snuggles for me. Please. Thanks, Ice. You do the same. Give all your fluffy babies some love. Y'all give give Kitty, give Lucky, give Caramel, give all your fluffy babies, give Raven, Ranger, all of them, and all your chickens, Ice. Give give them all my love and snuggles, okay? They deserve it. Y'all ready to nap? Thank you. Thank you, Ice. I appreciate it. Y'all enjoy y'all nap. Make it a good one. I'm going to remember the names of my fluffy babies. I have to go back over and recall. I know you named yours after herbs. Which ones are, is it basil? It's basil and thyme, and then you have a bunch of new ones. Because I, I know you said some of your chickens had that disease. And then there's the rest. Parsley and thyme. Parsley and thyme. And then I'm going to have to check your messages to get the rest of the names. But yeah. Give all my snuggly nieces and nephews some um, <clears throat> some extra love. Let me drink some water. Cause my gosh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jesus. Yes, extra treats as well. Okay, juniper, vanilla, ginkgo. Ginkgo? Ginkgo? Is that how you say ginkgo? Ginger, lavender, basil, and chocolate mint. <gasps> chocolate mint! That's so adorable! This is just cute little fluffy chicken babies. The cute little fluffy chicks. Baby chicks. That's so adorable. I just can't. Ooh, Sierra, also I forgot to look into the coating with the animals because I wanted to get, I wanted to have a white cat. But whenever I made the save file like that, the new cats weren't added yet for whatever reason. The new pets, so the cats or the dogs. So I'm going to try to code and change my gray cat to a white cat in game. So the next time, so prayerfully by tomorrow, Batter will be the new, one of the new cats that are in the game. But yes, give them extra love, snuggles, and treats from their favorite auntie. Um, and make sure you affirm them in their lives as well. Speak life over them in the Lord's blessings. I need them to know that they are all blessed and highly favored each. And they deserve to be spoiled rotten. From, from Aunt Carrie. Amen. But, uh... Yeah, y'all. So I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pray us out. I'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing, at two thirty Eastern if I can. And um, thank y'all for ch chilling with me and chatting with me. I enjoyed myself. I pray and hope y'all enjoyed y'all self. But thank you so much, Ice. I appreciate it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, pray us out. I'm gonna let y'all go. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this live stream. Thank you so much for everyone who has been here, God, and those who will watch the replay, Lord willing, God. I, I thank you for blessing us with your presence and blessing us with a nice atmosphere to communicate, chat, fellowship, learn, God, and even 
just rest god thank you for the rest in here and the peace of your presence that surpasses all understanding god i pray freedom over our hearts freedom your freedom over our minds your freedom over our bodies and our souls and our spirits god i pray that we continue to grow in every facet of our lives and that we continue to reach out to you concerning all things and trusting in you and leaning not into our own understanding. I ask in Jesus' name that you continue to move, shift, and have your way in through about and concerning our lives even after we leave this live stream. And I thank you so much for it all, Sovereign God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, y'all. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Prayerfully, my music will work. If it doesn't, I'm going to just end the stream a lot shorter than usual. But, um, yeah. So, with that being said, don't forget the fact that I love you guys, but Jesus loves us all best. God bless. Bye. Mwah. Every doubt, every time you've fallen down When you're hurting, feeling shame When you're numbing all your pain When you've lost your way And feel so far away You're not, you're beautifully broken And you can be whole again Doesn't change